Welcome, friends. It is I, your host, Lost Scarf, and it's time for Smite Conquest with Bakasur. Now, this thing's going to be a little bit different because I'm actually voicing this over in post. Why am I doing that? Well, I thought, why not experiment for one game, uh, actually commenting post-game instead of during the game. The reason for that is sometimes I get sick to the point that I can't really talk all that well. Like, it's happened before, but I wasn't so sick that I couldn't play Smite. So the idea is, well, if I get sick again, I can record a voiceover later uh, for the game. Now, it's going to be a bit weird, of course, because, well, uh, it's me trying to remember what the heck I did in this match and also commenting on what I do and what my teammates do. As you see, we got, okay, so it's it's me, Bakasura, with Freya, Aquan, Guan Yu, and on here. We're up against, let's see, we're up against... On her, Hades, Ra, Ares, and Hebo. So they have a bit more power on their side. We got a bit more defense. They have t they have two people who can take who can't take too much of a hit unless Ra goes tanky. Most likely he will. While Hebo, of course, can't take too much of a hit. It's gonna be me and Frey on the right, all in the mid, and Guan Yu and On her on the left. Uh, it's a pretty solid combination with Guan Yu and on her because you got power and defense. For me and Freya, it's me relying on her pop-up so that I can do some damage. And then we got on the mid. Here we're talking about uh, Alkong skins. My favorite Alkong skin. I really like it. I call him Chubby. Good luck. Here's little Chubby Owl. Now, if I ever get that skin dense, that's when Good you start luck. seeing me play Alkong because I like that skin. I'll play Good because luck. of that dang skin pretty much. Thanks. Good luck. Let's see here what else there. So I went ahead and got the starting item for ADs and for the tanks. The reason for that is, well, I'm going to be hitting a lot of minions so I can heal up whatever damage I can. And, of course, reducing damage as well. It'll allow me to dive my opponent if I really want to. Or at least attack them and harass them without not so much to worry about. Thanks. That's what I'm going to do. Everyone's just... Apparently everyone's really friendly with each other, which is cool. You always want a friendly team. People yelling at each other never goes well, ever. Honestly, if you're yelling at your teammates or your teammates are yelling at you, it's not going to go well. It's not going to go well. Sometimes you can you can recover and they'll shut up. But really, if you're arguing, it's, it's not going to go well with your team. And people need to learn that. Bad vibes are not going to work out. So we're trying to figure out who gets it. I think it's me who gets it here. So I get it. There we go. Now, the only problem with, of course, doing this post-recording is we can't do all the bells and whistles you can do with a recorded match in Smite. But they don't record every match, and they don't... You can't put it to record your matches. They only record, like, popular matches and pro matches and stuff like that. And I think most... Most ranked, I think, maybe as well. So here we are here. So it'd be nice to be able to tab and show things. But here we go. So here we are. We're down a level. We're going to be up a level in a second. Just gotta kill one more minion for that. Hebo and Ares are here. So I think it's a nice combination that Ares can chain people and slow them down for Hebo's damage. And also Ares too can give Hebo defense. So that's a pretty nice combination there. Me and Freya, of course, can't take too many punches. Oh, he can't move the chain. Like that pop-up right there hurt her pretty bad. We can't take too many punches, but we can dish it out a bit. With her pop-up, I can do a lot of damage. So I'm hoping for that to happen. Here we are. We got pushed back to our tower. Pick out these minions there. Let's see what's going on here. They're doing a good job of keeping us at our tower. But I pop out there because I'm like, there's no wave going right now. And I get, get beyond the minions. So I do that and I almost get a kill. Now you think that maybe I could have died there. Maybe it wouldn't bad. It would have been a bad idea. I think if I had my jump, I would have gone for it. Like I would have jumped in, killed him and ran out. Or try to kill him and jump out. No, jump in and kill would have been the better plan. But I didn't have the level for it. Because diving that, it'd be Hebo hitting me and six minions. And that would not work out so well. Okay, so here we are at, uh... What happened was a pop-up happened. Completely cut me out of the match for a second. I thought I was going to die. Luckily, I didn't. Of course, Freya thinks I'm talking to her about it. But no, that's not what I mean. <laughs> I clicked a pop-up. <laughs> I think it was Steam. Steam popped me out. So, luckily... We're fine. This Hebo's doing a good job of harassing her. He almost... He's got her pretty low. Not enough to kill her yet. But it's good harassing by the Hebo. And here I am with no mana. Retreat. At this point, I'm conserving my mana. Because I know I'm, I'm going to get to level 5 soon. And I'm going to need that if I'm going to get any kills here. So I'm going to wait for my alt at this point. I think it's a good plan here. Uh, Freya, of course, is level 3. She's going to get the 4 soon. She won't be level 5 anytime soon. So I can't rely on her ult. 
So we just gotta keep knocking these guys back. Get enough XP. She's at level four now. You can hear it. And here we are. And you can see you can see when uh, Ares has his defense because he's got that little aura around him. It's gone now, but earlier you could see it. So Hebo's at five. Ares is at four still. I'm gonna hit five in the next wave. Frey, I think needs one more wave to level up. And I'm gonna open the second I get the shot at it. And the reason for that is I feel uh, I should be able to get Hebo, even though he's got his wave. And here it is. Now, I'm gonna wait for it. And then here I go with it. There it is. I'm gonna do some damage here. I think I can clear the, the, the minions while going after them. Hebo comes up close because he thinks he can kill me. He pretty much almost did. Ares finished me off. Luckily, Freya uh, finished off there, uh, Hebo. Unfortunately, she's got nothing to get out of Ares' ult, and she's trying to run, but she gets caught by the minions. So, Doe over there. She almost got away, but just couldn't finish it. So, they got us two for one on that one. Just buying some potions, getting the Tabi up. Now I got some movement on me. I can do a little more damage since Tabi gives me some more attack. Now I have a 2% chance of crit as well. Freya will be coming back, so they should be ahead of us. Yeah, they're ahead of us uh, by one level, I think. They might be ahead of us by another level, I'm not sure. Now I go this way so I can catch a minion uh, with my eat on the way over. I figured, do that. It's a nice it's a nice thing you can do with Bacchus, is eat some minions on the way. There's Hebo there, he's level 6, I'm level 5. Freya is here. Calling MIA because I don't see Ares at the moment. There he is now. So we are dealing with these guys. Fair one for a pop up, missed it. Now, of course, I'm going to want to do my alt again. I'm going to have a chance to do it before Ares has his. Of course, he both has his already as well. But I definitely want to get these guys. But I need the correct opportunity. There's too many minions at the moment. I want to pounce it. I don't have. I only have one minion in my belly though. But I figure an opportunity is going to come up. They're ahead of us on levels right now. Well, by one level. Then the shot comes right here, thanks to uh, Freya. Thanks to Freya popping him up and doing her ult. I got an opportunity here. So here I am. Getting Hebo. Oh, didn't get Hebo. Got uh, Ares. My minions shoot Hebo, so I get a double kill out of this. So that's pretty dang nice. So we're telling each other nice job for that. Good harmony on the team right there. So getting the kills here, finish out the minions, getting up our levels, seeing as how the uh, opposing right is not there. So we're getting as much advantage as we can. Should hit level 8 before uh, they get back. It's looking pretty good here. Left and mid are doing well as well. Left just killed Hades. Alkong's pushing the mid pretty nicely. He's got Ra at his back. So doing damage to the mid tower, no damage done to our tower. Only the left tower has been hit so far. Maybe a little bit on the right, I'm not sure. I already forget. So we got a level advantage going right here. One, uh, well, let's see. You're cumulatively uh, two level advantage, I believe. We're seven and eight. They're six and seven. So yeah, we're two levels on them. I'm heading back to... I think I'm either going to get this buff or I'm going to just eat another minion. Probably get the whole buff. Yeah, I need the whole buff. I should have enough gold for the second level tabby. I don't think I have enough for the third one yet. Freya's there fighting on the right, holding them back. I'm gonna head back out there with my alt. Sorry. Right here we go. And here it comes. He does his alt, and then I do mine. Going for Hebo. Unfortunately, they killed here. Kill Hebo. Now, can I kill him? I believe I tried to. Yeah, I got him. So I'm hitting him. He's running away, which is the right thing to do. Now he's got these minions, now he goes back over there. That's a smart move, now he's got his minions to back him up. But he doesn't stick around to let his minions keep picking me down. He starts running, which is a good idea. But unfortunately, I got my jump, and I got him. It's possible if he juked me right there at the right moment, maybe I'd have to deal with his tower and he'd get away. Luckily, he did not, and I took him out. Gonna hit 10 here, alright. Left lane is going back and forth, middle lane is going back and forth. At this point, I think I'm gonna go get the mana. Things are working out pretty nice. It, it's in good part to uh, Freya. Her pops have been very helpful. And here I am getting myself some mana. I think I go back to base after this, or I'm going to help out mid. I forget right now. What am I going to do? Be yep, right going back, back to base. I'm going to finish off my tabby and work on... Well, Executioner. 
I don't think I have enough for execution, do I? Nope, not enough. I'm gonna be short by a little bit. Uh, like seven, like 80 or 70 by 70. I'm gonna be off by 70. So I buy more potions. Get going out there. That little boost from those potions are lifesavers. I've been saved before. Like, I, I end up with like 10 HP left, and that's because of the potions. Freya got herself an alt kill on Hebo over there. Nicely done. I think he was going for the, mon the mana. It wasn't there, and she took him out. Now, Miz in trouble with Alakong. I'm heading over there. I got my alt ready. I should be able to kill Ra and maybe uh, uh, Ares. So I do it. I hit Ra. Like, here, I thought I hit Ares as well, but the tower killed him before I hit him, apparently. So I could have gotten another kill, but instead I only get one kill here. And I, of course, go for the attack boost. Looking pretty good here. Doing a bunch of juggling. Keep myself up with boost so I can do more damage. Freya's hitting that tower pretty good. Eat that minion, so now I got better attack, so I can go help with the tower. There's still plenty of minions there, so we can hit it together. So we do, and we take it out. And then here's Hebo. Uh, he's popped up again, so we can do some damage. He's going to do his raid, probably. Yes, he does. Hop over and finish him off. There it is. The Hebo did a good job killing her, but he should have kept running after he did his wave. He went the wrong direction and got killed for it. Now, let's see. now here I consider getting the attack buff. And then, like, nah, I don't need to get it. I have 87 seconds left. Guan, you might want it, so I'll just move on. So I go ahead and get more jungling going. The reason why I'm doing so much jungling is because I'm roaming quite a bit getting ganks from my team. And if I, you know, if you're in the jungle too long, you gotta get jungling to happen or else you're gonna get behind on levels. You see that a lot in fights where someone tries to go get a gank, and if they fail, then they're behind by a level or two in their lane. So you gotta jungle like crazy. If you're someone who can't jungle that well, then roaming, you better get those ganks. I go for on her here, completely fail as I back off. I could have chased him, seeing how he already used his push away, but he still got to run. He still has his jump. So that probably wouldn't have gone so well. So I'm like, okay, I'll just consider my options here. Go back to base, get the first two levels of executioner. Alcon's telling us to go back to lane, so everyone does. I start heading back to right, but I'm like, you know what? I can go up along the jungle. I don't think I don't have to go through the lane. So in case something respawns, okay. so I go through the jungle here. Then you see Alcon. He's got two on one going here. After everyone Ultimate went back to ready. lanes, so it's like, oh crap, he's under attack. So I better get back over there. So I'm coming. So I get over there. He's getting altered right there. He's gonna die. There's no way he's getting away from that. But I come in. Maybe I can save him. Thanks to that jump, Hades got nowhere to go, and Ra doesn't have a move, so he's getting taken out. So nicely done there. Alcon's laughing about the fact he told us to go back, and now he's getting killed. I got a two for one, though, so that's nice. Freya's pushed back, so after I clear this, I gotta hold, go back there and help her out. Since Ares and Hebo will be there, there's more targets for me to kill, so I gotta hurry up. Take these out, just pushing the lane back a little bit, so I don't have to worry about it. Then I head over to the right to help out Freya. Now, I do believe I might actually go for the cooldown before I get to her. Yeah, it looks like I'm heading for the cooldown here. Yeah, so I'm going to go get the cooldown. Uh, Ares went to the mid lane to push that back. It's a good move by him. In case I want to push. I I wasn't going to push, but you never know. People might try to push. I didn't try to push because I knew someone's going to head over, and it's going to be a waste of time. I don't really like fighting minions at towers because you don't really get too much out of it. Be right back. Enemy missing right. Enemy missing like, I'm not the biggest fan of fighting people at their towers I would or diving at all. Unless they're low, but besides that, I'd rather let them come out so I can An go over and pick them off. See, so, yeah, I'm going towards the left now, seeing as Freya's got it pushed back, so she doesn't have much to worry about. There's three on the left, and I'm like, okay, well, that's plenty of pickings to get. I see Honor running back, so I'm going to go after him. Unfortunately, he's not going to be there when I get over there. Instead, he's turned around because they're, they're, they're teaming up on Alquan, so I'm like, okay, crap. Honor's not over An here, they're over here. So I better hurt and get over here. Alcon killed on her, though. So I get over here. I'm like, okay, I got my already. I do it. I kill Ares. I'm like, can I get Hades? He just jumped. So did I. I'm, I'm a little close, but not close enough. He's going to get away from me. To make sure he does, he does a silence and fear on me, which is very smart. That's a nice idea. Backs me off. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to go after him. I'm going to go somewhere else. He's got. He's a tank. I don't have my executioner finished, and I'm not going to be able to slow him down. So I'm better off getting out of there. I go for Monic one, he pops up. He's here for the XP, not the buff itself, but I thought he was there for the buff. I'm like, oh, he's not here for the buff, so I better... Uh, first I think he's there for the buff, but he isn't, then I get it. 
It's like, alright, that's taken care of. I have enough for the executioner, but I don't get it yet, seeing as how I have a, a bunch of HP and mana. I keep going for the jungle to get more. So there I go, do that. See, everyone's doing their landing. I'm jungling up. Just keep getting more gold and money. Let's see, what do I do next? I think I go for the attack next. It'd be a good plan. Right. Economy missing right. Do I go for the attack or do I just head over to the right? Enemies. Incoming Looks middle. like I go for the attack. Yep. I go for the attack. Gives Ra time to come out a little bit if I want to go get him. Oh, it gives it gives everyone on the right a mid time to come out so I can go attack. But there's Hebo over Retreat. there on the left instead. And Hades and maybe Ra will follow. I of course head out over there because there's targets to kill so I head over there. Like, Hebo's taken care of, it's 3 on 1 over there, I don't need to be over there. But there's these two over here, so those are two targets I want to go after, so I go over here. Drop my own. No, I don't drop my own, I just go for the hit? Okay. Oh, I know why I didn't drop my own. It's two guys who can jump away from my own, so I don't go- I don't use my own yet. So I just- I went for him a bit, but he went ahead and did sprint and he got away. Like, I like to save my own for people after they do their escapes, or... If they don't have an escape, then I just go straight for them. But if they have an escape, then I wait for their escape and then hit them. Unless I think I can catch up. Because you can hit them, and then they do escape while I have an escape as well. So I can jump right behind them and keep the attack up. But I definitely prefer to attack them after they've done their escape. Because it's easier to take them out. Here I'm going after Ares. We double team him, he does his own, but we kill him before he can finish it. So he's done. Nice job. Go back into the jungle, looking around for things. I figure go mana, but then I see Ra here, so I'm like, okay. But then I see someone else behind him. I'm like, okay, time to back off. So I get the hell out of there. Be right. And then I tell, yeah, I tell uh, Freya to right, so get the hell out of that. To right, to right. And she runs into them, care Freya. She's already fighting them. It's on her and, and Ra. She's trying to get away. And she is getting hit a bit. She should be able to pop slain. up and get away. She does not get away. They're on her. And my guess is uh, An Ra slow and on her slow are the things that got her. And then she'll An actually say that in a second. That's what slain. got her. Now let's see. Here. So I'm heading up. I'm like, okay, there's two on the right I could Your kill. I'm going 9 1 right now. Instead, I go for the attack buff, I believe. Like, okay, defend the tower. Def tower's pretty good. Clear this line up. So I do that. I'm like, okay, so I cleared that up. Now, we go for the attack, but then I see Guan says he wants it, so I'm like, okay, I won't get the attack then, so I move over here. So I'm going on over here. I'm like, okay, I may, may as well just get these buffs so I can get some attack speed and movement speed, so that'll be useful. So I clear that out. After that, I'm going to go get the cooldown uh, buff. Now, I almost have enough for the beat stick. I'm out. It beat stick's 12 for the final one. Uh, 1200 for the final one. So I'm building up for that right now. You can tell that seeing as I'm so close to it. Just a little bit more. Just need a little bit more. I think I'd go ahead and clear this minion line for it. Or am I going for the mana? I'm going for the mana. See if I get the mana here. Oh, there's Ares. Go for him. See if I can kill him. Use my ult. There it is. Come on. Oh, does he get away? Do I jump and kill him? I jump and... Uh oh, tower. Uh and I kill him. If he got away from me for another second, I might be killed, but I barely get away from this thing with 500 HP left. So I'm like, okay, that's more than enough. I have enough for the final level of the beat six. So I better get back to base. There, I decided to do it then. And my reasoning for this is, well, we get back to base and get the beat six. Now, people don't like the beat six for reasons I don't understand. People give me crap for getting it. And they say you should only get it when you're fighting someone who heals. I'm like, no, I disagree. It's good for people that heal, but also... It's a good item. It gives you 15% uh, cool, uh, lifesteal, 15% crit, and also gives you HP. It also uh, allows me to do... Uh, well, of course, it's passive, which is it reduces the heal of other people. So if anyone on the other team gets lifesteal, well, then I can reduce how much health they get from that. So it's useful for that as well. So, let's see here. Uh, so, I'm clearing up the minion line over here. I said I'm going to go get the gold theory, so I'm going to head over to that soon. Let's see over here. And then, okay, so there's that. Heading on over here. 
So heading for the Gold Fury now. They're fighting them at the mid. They're, they're in too deep right now. Now they're getting pushed back. They're pretty hurt, so they're running back. I go for the Gold Fury. Figure they'll get away. Oh my god, I'm getting the Gold Fury. I'm looking at there. I'm like, okay, Honor looks kind of low. Retreat. looks kind of low. I'm like, okay, maybe I can get two kills out of this. So I get over here. I'm like, I got my ult here. So I'm going to do my ult. I'm going to do it. My teammates are pretty back up. Oh, there, right there. That's something that annoyed me is... Ares didn't pull me yet, but it made me intangible to the point that I couldn't kill Hebo before I got pulled. I should, get on, I should have at least gotten a kill there, maybe a double, but I did not. And so, shoot, I go intangible a moment before I get pulled, which, well, that sucks. So I'm like, okay, well, let's, let's buy some things to rectify this. So I go ahead and get the girdle. Now, what the girdle's going to do is going to give me, of course, more attack, and it's 90 seconds, and it goes close to in line with my ultimate, so that I can do them both at the same time. So that'll be useful. So that's built, so I'm getting that. So every time I do my ult, I can do the girdle at the same time and do major damage. Let's see here. So beat stick is finished. Next up is the soul eater, I believe it's called. So that'll be up next. I don't have enough to afford the first level yet. Uh, Frey's getting killed too much. They're fighting a bunch over there. An ally has been slain. So I'm heading over to help out over here, so I help out. Figure we can hurt Rob, but maybe get a kill on him. He gets away though. Guan Yu decides to keep going after him right here. I'm like, well, Honor is here and there's a tower, so I'm just gonna back up and do some other things. So I go kill these things, get my life back up with the beat stick. So doing that. Let's see, we're going, yep, going for the attack boost over here. So taking care of that. And that Guanyu's over here to get more mana, I guess. Let's see here. Not mana, XP. Then there's the gold here, so take care of that. So doing that now. She gets taken out pretty quick. On, I see on her because of Guanyu's dash out. So I'm like, okay, let's go take care of on her instead. He tries to do his ult to steal it. Honor gets away, but there's Hebo here, so he gets killed. Nice so there, Gold Fury got killed by Honor. Good job by him. Nice job. So head out. and see. A bit low, but I can get it back up from Life Steal. I don't have enough gold for the life uh, for the life eater. It's two uh, K to get the whole thing, so I figure I don't need to go back yet. I can just heal up and keep fighting. So that's what I do. So I'm doing that. Let's see here, those guys get killed. Yeah, Freya keeps dying, so she's not happy about that. Go ahead and get the cooldown. Well, it's not fully there. Which is unfortunate. I see Hades. I'm like, nah, forget that. That's like, going to be a waste of time. So I back off of that. And I see Ares over here, so maybe we go get Ares. He should be doable. Onher's fighting him already, so I can go help kill him. He does his ult. Looks like Onher was not pulled because he had like an Aegis or beads. Not sure. So I come here, try to get a kill out of this. Unfortunately, he's too tanked up and he's too fast for me now. I don't have my ult to slow him down. So I just back off. Two on one, not gonna happen right now. I could, well, it'd be come through and what Hades was there as well. So I back off, showing restraint, trying not to get myself killed. Go for mana, it's not there. There's the Alcorn there. I still don't have 2k and I don't have to go back because I got plenty of mana, so I just keep running around. I'm not getting much XP right now because all this running around though. So I'm like, okay, well, what am I gonna do? I'm looking around, waiting for things to kill. There's no there's no jungle to get that yellow might be there. Then I see Hebo here, luckily, and I take him down. Look at that. Go there, jump over it, and finish. Dead Hebo. There's no jungle there. And it's back to the fold to help with the team with the mid lane. Oh, I see these two. I'm like, I'm not in a good position to take these guys out, so I'm just gonna move on. I'm in no danger of getting killed, but I'm like, I'm not really doing much. So I'm going to move out of there. Luckily, Rom missed me. If he hit me, that would have made me a bit lower. I'd have to kill jungles or something before I go ahead and do this, where I come back in, try to do some damage here. Go for Hades here. Don't kill him. Do some good damage, though. Do more damage than I get the hell out. Did a good amount of damage, but nothing deadly. Freya got her ult on Hades, so she took him out. I almost have enough for the two gay items, so just a little bit more. 
I think I go for the jungle, then head back, or do I? No, no. I go for the minions over here, then I'm gonna head back and get the the life feeder. Was it soul steel? I can't remember what's called right now. We'll see it when we when we see it. But if we kill these guys, take these guys out. I think I kill one more wave. Yeah, I'm gonna kill one more wave and go back and get the life steal item, so I can solo the fire giant. At that point, I can solo it. Because I should have enough life steal and damage per second to regain any damage I take. So I take these guys out. Head back to base. And there it is. Yeah, Soul Eater. That's what it's called. So I'm gonna sell my mana so that I can buy a physical potion. That way I can do more damage. Then I get a ward. Then I get the ward. For The idea for the ward is... You put the ward in front of the fire giant, and if you see if they don't have a ward, then you're fine. If they do have a ward, then they know you're there, and, and they know you're going to go for the fire giant, so you just back up. That's why. I, that's the reason why I got the ward. So he thinks they got a ward, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go check them. Find out in a moment. Your team has destroyed a left They're fighting on the left lane right now, they just took out a tower. So I put it up. I don't see any wards anywhere, so let's go ahead and go on in and sell the fire giant. So I'm going to go do it, so I go do it. Some good damage here. Yep, I get popped up, so I lose a little bit of health there. I'm slowly okay. regaining it while getting knocked down. I'm in no real danger here at this point. Guanyu and Ares in the mid fighting, so hitting this. Freya comes in to help. So we're both hitting it, taking it down faster. Nice getting some good crits going. And then finally it dies. And now everyone's got the fire giant. Very good. So now it's time for a really bad team fight for the other team. So we're just heading on over here. It's like there's three there. I have my ult. I can do some damage. I, I try to cut them off though, so I'm going back here. Hebo's behind them, but I don't think that means much to me. So I'm here. I attack. Try and get some kills here. Unfortunately, we missed out on two kills. Like, okay, maybe I can get Hebo. No, they're, good. they're close to him. They'll get him. So I'm just checking my stuff. And they got him. So, alright. It's like, okay, so time for the tower is like... Go on, tank the thing, so we can take it out already. He decides to go for the kill, even though, you know, there's three people over there already, so then it was like, okay, or not, or that. So then we go back to fighting these things. And we do this. And then now we have, okay, we have me tanking it. And then we then we have Guan tanking it, so now we're attacking it. Guan's taking it, we're taking it out. So, all right, that's taken out. So I'm like, okay, let's head over to the left one. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy uh, and this time it is Alcon tanking, I think. Yeah, Alcon's taking it. We take it out. It's on, it's on Guan Yu now. We take this one out. So doing pretty good over here. Killing the minions because we can. Your team has destroyed a left enemy uh, Rag got killed for a DS side. Looking pretty good with 11 2. It's like, all right, let's just kill this Minotaur. Finish it already. Go ahead and do that. It's done. We win. Good job to the team. 11 2 is pretty good. And we do a good job. Alright. <laughs> okay, so then, you know, victory, GG the other team. And then, I, of course, mention uh, this will be on YouTube, so these guys want to see their match. Not sure when. Well, it's today. And then we'll look at the score here 11 2 10. Two double kills, 10 assists, nine player kills, and one tower kill. So that's pretty good. See your base goodwill. I'm still not sure what the bonus on that goodwill is, really. So Freya 48 on her uh, 81, going with 70, me 112, our con 55, pretty good. Only negative is Freya, unfortunately. Other team is 4318495125 and 24. So they're all negative except for their on her, so good for him. Unfortunately for the rest of them, not so great. Then let's see here, we got uh, okay, so Freya's build is not a bad idea. I think it works. It just didn't work out for her in this match, but she did get some kills, and she helped me get some kills. My build's my standard build for uh, 80s. Guan Yu went pretty tanky, worked out for him. Honor went for ball crits, Alcon went for damage. Their team, their raw went for uh, defense. Well, he went for tank raw, like who doesn't, but I disagree with him going for mid-guarding. I think he should have gone for the ball of absolution because it gives you power. And you don't really need cooldown with raw. He's, all of his stuff comes up pretty quick, I think. Look at that damage, gold, all that stuff. Well, that is the game. I had fun. I hope you had fun watching. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Well, thanks for coming, and uh, see you next time.